Good morning, folks. Let's begin right at the solar flaring chart at spaceweathernews.com to find a long-duration solar flare this morning. It's the wider mound bumping up there. It is only a C4 flare, but the long duration tells us that a CME was likely produced and that this is a post-filament release hider flare. Plasma filaments do not have pre-eruption x-ray flares. The repopulation of the field plasma after it ejects is what gives us the flash and flare. This eruption came near the departing southern sunspots and has produced a good deal of visible ejecta. Since this camera looks at the sun from Earth, you can see that a good deal is going to miss us to the right, but this is how you do some advanced coronagraph analysis. Picture the center circle like a clock. The important positions are 12, 3, 6, and 9. Eruption was on the bottom right quadrant, and yet we can tell that ejecta is left of the 6 o'clock position down below, and on the right, we see ejecta above the 3 o'clock position. That means despite the bottom right position of the eruption, it pushed wide ejecta as far north and back left enough to eclipse the Earth-directed positions. And I'll say that the piece still hidden behind the center circle has a 75% chance of delivering a glancing blow to Earth on Saturday. Let's begin the sunspot analysis at that lead group that set off the filament eruption. As the sunspot departs the Earth-facing disk, it now begins to grow and gain more negative polarity, only as it exits. The other big group has been defeated by the Earth-facing solar quiet. This is the only one of eight sunspot groups to survive the last week, but he has been silenced in this position. As expected, the coronal hole stream impacted in the solar wind yesterday, the density bulge in orange is particle buildup as faster particles stream out and bunch up against slower ones like snow on a shovel blade, and as the stream hits, the speed in yellow and plasma temperature in green jump up. It's not too fast, so a touch of instability is all we saw from this event. No storms. Let's look at an earth spot effect. Remember that at Mexico, the tropical earth spot trigger is always due south of the effect, and what's due north of that storm? Popo Volcano, giving us a cry. Beautiful acknowledgement of the electromagnetic disruption south of it over the water. Death toll is nearing 60 in the Philippines from their typhoon. Here's a precipitation graphic showing feet of rainfall in some areas. That's incredible. Folks, here we have the temperature anomalies from September according to the Global Climate Report for the month. As always, I guarantee that the misleading percentiles chart is the only one you'll see on other websites attempting to plug climate propaganda. I show you these base charts every month so that you can call out those advocates with the logic of an observer. And the big red blotch over Eastern Europe is now gone. Let's zoom in on Europe to find the jet stream breaking open right at that point, bending back and south and allowing Arctic air to funnel down in. That ultra-red area that we just saw over Europe has now been breaking their daily cold records by 2, 3, and 4 degrees. Not 0.2 or 3, but whole degrees. Winter warning for Europe may begin early. We're going to check the remaining typhoon near Japan, and then pull the pressure and radar projections for our top viewer locations. We'll end with current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.